Hi, my name's Wayne from In Time With Music, and I just wanted to show you something we're about to list in our eBay store. It's a character generator from, from the early 90s or late 80s. Might have to actually use some video editing after on this video. Um, character generators were all also called video titlers. This is the Optex Vision 300. Uh, it was sold in the USA under the name Camlink and uh, another company called SEMA uh, incorporated it into their audio video editing machines as well into, in, in the uh, early 90s. Um, it, but for the most part, if you uh, search them on Google, you'll find them under the name Camlink. It's exactly the same unit. Uh, it has a keyboard, a row of LED lights here. Um, the inputs and outputs are fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, your input from your source analog, remember this is analog pre-Windows 95, um, your source would be coming from a camcorder like a Sony or something, or else the source could be from a VCR, you know, you could be putting your video titles um, over top of um, a VCR, home video. Um, there's S-Video uh, uh, inputs and outputs if you want to increase the quality of your video. Make sure you can see that. And these are the outputs that go to your recording device. In those days it would have been another VCR um, or it could have been another uh, uh, camcorder or you know video type recording machine. Um, these days you can output this onto a, uh, uh, a digital uh, 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 I don't know what you call the little box that turns your VCR tape into uh, uh, MP4s, but <laughs> anyway, your transitional box, whatever you want to call it. So, so that's the uh, uh, basically the input and output section. On the bottom, there is just a little panel here for a memory battery. This isn't this unit needs its power. It, it actually is going to come with the original AC adapter, so it needs its nine volt power. Um, but it has a uh, uh, lithium battery in the bottom uh, so that when you unplug it at the end of your work you don't lose it all. It stores your uh, your editing um, and your titles or your credits or your graphics. Uh, it'll store it for the next uh, editing session. So there you have it. The Optex Vision 300 Video Titler Character Generator. Now you'll see the pictures clear in the eBay listing but the keys have three colors on them, and they, they, most of the keys will perform more than one function. The main color of the keys is yellow. It operates just like a regular standard alphanumeric keyboard, but there's also some um, function style keys that you access using the shift button, which are the red, the red ones, and there's some green function keys that you access using the green alt button. Uh, and those keys are just access to different characters and different uh, font-like objects. Um, again, this is a vintage item. It's pretty, um, it's pretty, uh, uh, <laughs> how should I say, archaic. Um, for anyone that's buying something like this, you know, a piece of vintage video equipment, uh, compare it to buying a... Uh, uh, a 1967 Mustang, and when you get it home, it's not going to park itself. Um, <laughs> so you really want to understand the uh, the collectible purpose of buying one of these. Uh, as far as editing and putting um, putting uh, uh, your titles and and your uh, credits on your videos, you're far better off using software. But what's cool about this is this machine is almost 30 years old, and it's it's just like new. Um, I only used it a couple of times. I'm the original owner. I bought it to do some video work in the uh, early 90s. And as you can see, uh, it's just like it came out of the box. It does have the manual that'll come with it. The manual doesn't tell you much. Um, the manual is a uh, you know fairly straightforward thing, but uh, you have to spend some time, probably a couple of days, to really figure it all out. The manual is very basic. And like I say, there's no online help function. I checked actually and there's not much even on uh, um, Google for um, information on on the, the, the functioning of these units. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long so let's just get down to it. First thing I'm going to do is turn the unit off so that you'll see what happens uh, when you get one of these home and then boot it to default. Now it will give you a, uh, uh, when it's ready, a title screen here. And this shows you how you can set up your titles. You can decide where, or what position you want your title to be on the screen. 
You have a variety of fonts, solid fonts, you have outline fonts, uh, you have a, a font with a background. Um, and so, you know, there's quite a, quite a variety there. And once you get to that, uh, then in the manual, you know, you can go to the first couple of pages and figure out editing. So I've already input something in here. It says uh, Optex Vision 300 also sold under the brand Camlink Character Generator and Titler. Tyler, that's so much fun to say. Um, Ed to the eBay test, thanks. This shows you some of the different uh, sizes of the uh, fonts, the different colors that you can do, and uh, the, the background. Now, once you edit your, once you get your, your, uh, uh, your type in there, your copy in there, oh, you can also use this as a, um, um, uh, what do you call those things that the, uh, the guys read from? Teleprompter. <laughs> if you want. But anyway, once you get it in there, then you decide how you want it to display on your screen. Um, you can choose from a variety of backgrounds, and I know that under the webcam you're not going to see much, so I'm just going to go to the black background here, probably give you the best contrast. So once you have put your copy in there, then you get out of that, and now you decide how you want it to display on your screen. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do, uh, I know that you can't see this, but the pictures on the eBay listing will be clear. And uh, I don't have a listing number yet because it won't go up for the next couple of days. Um, but if you go to the In Time With Music store and search Optic Vision, Optex Vision 300, that's O-P-T-E-X, Optex Vision 300, um, our SKU, uh, the In Time With Music SKU number on it is 4234002. And you'll see clear pictures of it. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into the display mode, which is the way the copy that I've already input there is going to appear. So display set. So now I'm going to go for uh, start on page one. End on page four. Repeat it five times. Um, I'm going to go for, you can have scroll across the bottom, you can have scroll up, scroll down, a variety of different ways. I'm going to go for scroll across the bottom. And I'm going to go a fast speed. You have three speeds of your font. Let's just see if that works, because I, I haven't used this machine for almost 30 years. We'll see what happens when I push display start. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Optex Vision 300, also sold under the brand Camlink. So you can see what's happening there. Now, it is backgrounding all of my copy uh, because it obviously doesn't want to have multi sizes and colors, and it's just sort of standardized the copy that I've put there. And that's sort of stage one. You know, you've got it in, you've decided how you want it to scroll. And stage two is to add your source. And in this case, we're going to use a camcorder and push play. So again, my camcorder output is going to the input of the titler. And you'll hear the audio because I've also run uh, just a mono line of audio in here. This is stereo input for audio. Um, and you won't see it until I push external sync. So there we have it. Um, that's basically how you get your titles or your credits or your description or what, whatever you wanted in the early 90s onto your video. That's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the Optex Vision 300 Ancient Character Generator Titler. It's fun to say. <laughs> and uh, feel free to ask any questions and uh, check it out in our eBay store. It's in time with music. SKU number 42340002. Optex wow, Vision 300. Thanks for watching. Uh, this color here is uh, Dijon. Uh,